Ah, quick video on creating holding edges for use with subdivisional surfaces uh, in Map GW's Mesh Smooth or Turbo Smooth. Um, so, you have several options. We've got a little object here we can play with, and we'll use the pick tool to pick it. Um, and we'll get rid of that. So, we'll go in here and we'll go to Edit Poly and Deselect. So, one way of adding or holding edges would be with edge selection go over to swift loop and manually place them in so basically go here and say I want one there and I want one sort of there and there and there do all that do that manually we'll undo that though uh, one more okay get rid of that and turn off swift loop okay so we've just got back to where we were a minute so you can manually add your edges in or if you select the edges to work on, you can use the chamfer tool, which came in, uh, well, what was up, was updated in I think Max 2015. Now, if we go and switch the chamfer tool on at the minute, uh, let's go and select it, chamfer, and we'll just say from stack, it'll do every edge. So we've got standard chamfer, which sort of will do triangles, and quad chamfer will try and do quads for you. And uh, yeah, so this will do everything though. Uh, from stack, let's do all edges. We'll do all edges. We'll see the amount on that and uh, dial that up. So if we do it this way though, it'll try and do its best, but when you go and add turbo smooth, what you end up with is your round object ends up being a hexagon or an octagon in this case. <clears throat> so, how do we fix that? So how we fix that is we need to go and select the edges. So in here I've got a selection set. So I go edges. I'm just going to use my selection set of new. And basically that's just doing the bounding of the main box and then just the base and the uh, and the top of this extrusion here. Then when we go to chamfer in here, we'll say not from all edges but from selected edges. And that would change our selection. And then when we go and add turbo smooth. We get a now, a now a nice smooth object, and we can sort of dial this up to being sharper if we need it to be. Yeah, and that basically is that. How cool is that? Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that's how to use quad chamfer available in Max 2015, 2016, 2017, and no doubt it'll be in, if not improved, for 2018. Um, it's apparently it's quite simple, similar to Cinema 4D, which has a thing called Solid Chamfer. So yeah, as long as you've got the correct selected edges to work on, it'll do you a good job. If not, it'll sort of it'll still have a go for you, but some things might not work out exactly how you'd like it. In which case, you know, you need to like up that a little bit. So yeah, there you go. That's how to do um, quad chamfer and subdivisional surfaces. And that is that. See you later. Bye.